which is another regular upload from Vicky's List. I will warn you that this video contains quite a lot of um, hashtag Vicky Sergeant Life Coach. This is probably my favourite film, The Way Way Back, and in it is probably one of my favourite quotes, which is, cut your own path. That's kind of the topic of today's video. People worry a lot about not achieving things by a certain time in their life and about not doing things in a certain order and not following the same path that the majority of people go on. So many people take degrees and then after their degree they realise they don't really have much interest in that subject anymore and then they feel like it's a waste and they've ruined their life if they go off and pursue something else. But it's not because that's what life is about, it's about trying things and realising if you like them or not and if you want to pursue them. I think we rush everybody far too much into deciding exactly what you want to do for the rest of your life. We have to pick GCSEs and our A-levels. It's such a young age to be narrowing down your life choices. It freaks people out and it's no big surprise. People in their adult life might have been doing a job their whole life and suddenly realise they don't really enjoy it and they actually have always wanted to try something else but they feel like they can't because they've spent too long doing something else. That's ridiculous and it's like it feels like it would be bad because you've already done a certain path. Sometimes I think people, if people don't follow that kind of stereotypical standard path they um, can kind of freak out a bit or feel like they're not doing things right. <sighs> no. No, 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 no. You've got to do things the way you want to do them and how you want to do them. If that means you, you know, you spend your whole life trying different courses and meeting different people and what's wrong with not settling? There's no point staying in something that's making you unhappy. I basically always wanted to be an actress. When I finished like my GCSEs and left secondary school, I kind of wasn't really exactly too sure what I wanted to do, how I wanted to go about it. I think I just kind of expected <laughs> to finish school and just land in like a Hollywood movie role because, you know, why wouldn't I? That didn't happen, funnily enough. I ended up going to sixth form. I didn't really enjoy drama there. I just kind of left the safety net of my secondary school. I was just in a bit of a weird place. I had a little bit of a meltdown, I won't lie. I just felt really unhappy there because I didn't feel like I could leave without having a good reason to. I suddenly fabricated that I wanted to be a cake decorator. Never had I ever possessed a desire to make cakes and decorate them. I think I'd watched an episode of Cake Boss. I quit six forms, started making cakes, and I hated it. I used to get so stressed out. I was miserable and I had a job I wasn't enjoying at the same time as well. I was just not in a good place. I ended up going to bakery school like the following September. Didn't want to go there, but I just felt I'd got into this path and I couldn't get out of it and that I'd already quit sixth form, so I couldn't quit bakery school as well. You can't quit two things, oh my god, that's insane. And I was already feeling like I was behind in my life because, you know, my friends were going into the second year of sixth form and I was just starting something new. And I was freaking out and I really thought I'd messed up. I spent the whole time just wanting to be a performer and just do acting and stuff. Okay, so every time I'd walk to bakery school, on my way there was a performing arts school. Every day I'd walk past it and I'd just be like, I want to be in there. I don't want to go make bread. I want to perform. I didn't tell anybody because I was so scared because I thought I've really messed my life up here. I can't quit something else. Crying to sleep every night, like, oh my God, I'm trapped in a life I don't want. I was like 18, it's like, calm the fuck down. And eventually I said, yeah, don't do this anymore. And then um, dropped out and it was shit. Like, I felt horrible for probably the whole next year. You know, I decided, okay, I need to just pursue the acting thing because it's what I've always wanted to do. I think if I find a way of getting back into it, like I'll start to feel comfortable with it again. That didn't happen overnight. It took a long time. I took some short courses, found a path to get back on for acting. I met some really good people who really helped me and encouraged me. And I found this new acting path that I could take. Took two accredited courses is now just finished one <laughs> thank you i found my new path and i was so much happier but at the same time i was still always you know worrying because like oh i haven't done things in exactly the right order and i should have just done my drama a level and then gone straight on to drama school and now i'm behind and i'm gonna be 100 by the time i go to drama school and oh my god i can't do that i am really glad that i didn't do that if someone said to me you know you can go back in time got a tardis go back 
do drama A level, go to drama school, I would not do it, no way, because I wouldn't have learnt the things I've learnt and met the people I've met who have now made me the actress that I am and the person that I am had I just taken the straight direct path. So it can sometimes feel like you're wandering around and you're a bit lost but you might find that actually it works out better. You know this time last year I was desperate to go to drama school because I'd found this new acting path that I was on. I was like okay right I'm sort of sorted out now, I need to do these accredited courses go to drama school and then I can become an actor. I have to do it like that because that's the way you do it. If you told me now that I'm not going to drama school in September, I probably would have broke down and cried. But again, now, I don't care um, because things have just worked out differently. Basically, last November, I did a one-woman play whilst I was also doing a course and working, you know, busy girl. So I didn't really expect to get anything out of that, I just wanted to do it because I wanted to be in a play, <laughs> and I thought, oh, I was fucking going to write one. Did that and ended up getting my first professional job off the back of that, which then led to all the other jobs I've had since then. I've had so much fun doing them and, you know, I feel like I'm on this new path and it's different and I'm now not going to drama school. If it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing, like, there's still a lot of stuff I need to learn, but there's no reason why I can't learn that for doing actual acting jobs. It hasn't been direct or straight or normal but it's it's like mine and I've become a lot happier and a lot more confident and I've met some amazing people all through my own crooked path and I kind of like that. If I think back to three years ago crying myself to sleep because I didn't want to make bread it's a completely different person and it's really miserable. It seemed like there was no way out. It seemed like that was my life now. And there's probably people out there who feel the same right now, who just feel like you've ended up in a life you don't necessarily want and you're with people maybe around you that don't make you happy and you're in a job maybe that doesn't make you happy. And it feels like it's too late, but trust me, it's not. I've been there. It's not too late. If you'd have told 18 year old bakery school student, miserable Vicky Sargent, that she would in but a few years be playing Hermia in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, oh what's that? Oh, oh it's, a, it's a flyer for the show I'm going to be in in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Uh, just to plug this a moment. So it's uh, a Midsummer Night's Dream. I'm playing Hermia. It's on the 8th and 9th of August uh, at the Canal Cafe Theatre in Little Venice. It's only an hour long and it, tickets are £9. You can book them online. I'll put a link in the description. Dreams can come true. So basically, I'm now going to be a lead part in a Shakespeare play, which has literally been my dream for at least three years, um, if not my whole life and many times felt like I would never get to this point. I'm not at the end or anything, but I have I have come a long way. It's all just been worth it. My path, though it's not been straight, has still got me to where I wanted to be. You know, if I'd have taken the direct route, I might have never got this job. I think it's kind of worked out for the better. You can't plan and worry too much about the future. It rarely goes how you expect it to. I have no idea what lays ahead for me but that doesn't scare me anymore. It really excites me. Don't get upset or frustrated because your life hasn't turned out exactly the way you planned it and maybe you've done things in a funny order or you know you took a year out here to do this or you took three years out there because you decided you hated what you was doing and you completely swapped. Like don't hate on yourself. If you're not happy with the path you're currently on but you feel like you're too old or it's too late or you're too far into another career to change, that's bullshit. It is your life. Is there any point in wasting it doing anything that doesn't fill you with excitement? 